It's important our loved ones, friends, and neighbors have a place to turn when the unexpected happened. For more than 30 years, the Good Neighbor Energy Fund has provided assistance to Rhode Island households who are unable to meet a current energy expense due to financial difficulty. Here to tell us more about the program is Sandy Connors from the United Way of Rhode Island and Suzanne Mello, chairperson of the Rhode Island Good Neighbor Energy Fund. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for coming in here. Mm -hmm. Suzanne, I'm going to start with you. Give us a little description about the fund itself and why this time of year we're talking before is so important to so many people. Sure. It's a fund um, that basically um, helps um, households in financial need, um, especially with the heating, or if they have difficulties um, capturing a getting assistance for our um, heating source. Mm -hmm. um, we have sponsors, energy sponsors, such as National Grid, um, Ocean State Power, um, Pasco Utility District. Uh, we also have RISEC and Pichot Home Services, as well as um, United Way of Rhode Island, who administers the program for us. Um, also, all of Rhode Islanders. And again, it's, it's, a, it's there to assist any households with financial difficulty. Mm -hmm. Typically the um, fund starts there early November. Um, you know, people, as the weather gets colder, sure. as you know, um, that's when the need is there. Right, and, mm -hmm. and this fund has been around, for, for many people, they may not have heard of this before, but the fund has been around for a long time. So mm -hmm. how long has it been in existence for? Absolutely. It started in 1986, um, and the fund uh, has raised uh, approximately $14.2 million. Wow. And also, um, you know, most important, it has provided warmth to over 45,000 households. And, and Sandy, who is eligible for this fund? Because we were saying it can happen to anybody. Absolutely, it can happen to anyone, and it may, um, you know, it may surprise you to know if you are that you could be eligible for this fund. So, if you're wondering if you're eligible, first of all, I would recommend that you go to our website, which is RhodeIslandGoodNeighbor.org. Mm -hmm. All of the guidelines are listed there. It's based on income. So, for example, a household of two can have an income of up to $49,000 and be eligible for the fund. Right. So that could be a senior citizen couple, um, a single dad or a single mom with one child, or it could be, you know, young people starting out. Lots of people are really eligible for the fund. And one of the other things you were saying is a lot of people are embarrassed by this, and you should not be embarrassed at all. A absolutely not. Yeah, we, ha um, you know, sometimes families are making decisions between food or heat or pharmacy costs, and if we can help take some of the, the burden off, right. check us out. Right. Now, Suzanne, how much is the typical grant that, that a family would get or a household could get? Oh, anywhere between 250 to 650 So that's, that's, a, good amount that's of money. a good amount of money to right. help. And that could probably heat a house for, you know, a month or so or more. Um, correct. If, if you're lucky. Um, now, you also have, Sandy, an annual fundraising campaign as well, right? We do. That starts this week. It's called the Warm Thy Neighbor Campaign. You may have um, heard of it or seen it on your yellow donation envelopes that come with your utility bills. The utility companies put in the first grants to get us going, and then we go out to the community and ask um, additional companies, corporations, and individuals to help support the fund. And it really does. It helps so many people it to some of you. Ladies, it thanks does. so much. You're doing, uh, you're doing great work. And if you would like more information mm -hmm. on the Good Neighbor Energy Fund, head to roadshow.com.